So if you know me for a while, you know that I am a sucker for beauty. And this one pretty much hits the spot. Hey friends and family, and if you're just joining the channel, welcome. This is Aaron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard. And I know this is not a fruit tree, but it is absolutely beautiful. And it is a wonderful addition to pretty much any front yard. These are HOA approved. What tree am I talking about? It's this one. Look at this craziness going on. This is the white orchid, white Chinese orchid. So there's a purple version, and then there is a red version. And I've seen them all around town, but I have not seen the white one. And we've got a white one. And we get compliments on this tree all the stinking time. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Look at these flowers. How beautiful is that? My goodness, and they're just everywhere. All the ends, the new growth of the tree is just pumping out all these flowers. You can see all these buds that haven't even opened up yet. My goodness. So this is Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. We live in growing zone 9B. And this is one of our favorite trees in the front yard. In fact, it's a favorite from all of our neighbors. Every time they're passing by, in fact, I don't, they're not walking by right now. But we get a lot of neighbors complimenting on our front yard, which I do appreciate that. But man, this tree, it just stands out. This tree, look at the size of this tree. We've had this tree, we grew this tree by seed. And I believe it was about six years ago when I planted it. And I really haven't really taken much care of it. All right. So it grows pretty much just straight up Arizona dirt. We got a swale here and that collects all the rainwater whenever it does rain, which not much, but we do have drip line kind of all around the perimeter here from some bushes that actually died uh, just because whatever reasons, but we left the drip lines there. And I kind of like it how it's open like that. And then we've got some other trees around there. In fact, we got all obviously our fruit trees there too, but man, this thing just does so well with very little care. So if you want a very carefree tree, this thing does really well with just drip line. About four times a day it goes off. Gets about maybe 20 gallons a day every other day. And that's it. No fertilizing. None of that soil sulfur. None of that blood and bull meal. These trees do really good. And they're beautiful. Look at the size of these leaves. That's really hard to find. A big leaf tree in Arizona. In the desert at least so if you're growing in a warm climate this might be a good option for you like I said it's a white orchid originated in China so it's the Chinese white orchid and we do we just love this tree I'm telling you we really do So this is at nighttime, and if I can keep the camera steady, you can see what it's attracting. There's a hummingbird moth. And if you don't know what that is, it's those really big moths that we have here in Arizona. Doesn't look like it's cooperating with me. So we've pruned this tree several times. We, we prune it really t pretty much summer, fall, spring, winter. We prune it whenever it really needs it, just for shape. And we want to keep it kind of a low canopy. You can see the low canopy here. We like to keep it low and we like a nice full tree. And it's doing really well where it's at. So I just want to give you a quick update on this Chinese orchid. We do have a playlist on this tree because it does so well here in our front yard. Like I said, it is HOA approved mainly because it's of its beauty. Gosh dang it, how could you not love this tree? All right, make sure you give this video a like as well. And if you haven't joined this channel, please consider subscribing. We do talk about more than just this beautiful white orchid on this tree. We talk about all kinds of fruit tree care and grapevines. We've got a vineyard and blackberries. We're growing all kinds of stuff in a warm, hot climate in the desert southwest of Arizona, growing zone 9B. 
And if you're growing an orchid tree in your front yard, let us know. Please leave your questions. Anybody, really, qu leave your questions, comments, concerns, suggestions down in the comments section below. We do love hearing from all of our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.